The studio has a strong order for me. They, um, every morning when I walk in, I enter first the sculpture studio, where I have sometimes two or three assistants. They're working for me. After some maquettes or drawings or something like this, and we can um, we can discuss a little bit how they can help me. And then later on, I will be behind this door where nobody can help me. And then um, I'd like to do my stuff. Sometimes I get the invitation for a show called Abstract Paintings or Abstract Sculptures. And then you see the show, it's, it's I don't know, it's, it's not, I think it's not the issue. Everybody knows what we mean, but it's when we say this is abstract and this is figurative. And, but I think um, it's, it's a dead end. I'm sure we could find today for every totally abstract form, we could find something under a microscope or on the street or in the universe what has a likeness or what looks similar. When you go in a lexicon, abstract means um, you make it a little bit simpler or to make it a little bit more compact or whatever. Yeah. But I'm always interested in how we can you know, describe an image. The, the iconography is very important for me in, in the art history. I'm working now professional since 15 or 16 years. It, 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 it never happened that I, that I could use something what I found 100%, 100% directly. I, I'm not doing an, an investigation like a journalist that I'm searching first for for the um, for the meaning. The first important step is really to to find out, you know, how I like it. You know, I, that's the that's the instinct thing. If the context makes sense, it's much more better. Every, every piece, every painting is a single painting, as yes, is, is a single piece. So, and I have a, I have a language. I have a, my maybe a lexicon of shapes and things. But um, I start always um, again. This wall is normally made for the works on paper. On this side, I get very, very fast results. Sometimes after 20, 30 minutes or one day, maybe a piece is done. And if not, it doesn't matter. I put it in the garbage and I start again. And on this side, I have the canvases. Uh, they are kind of, I don't know why I have a little bit more respect for, for a canvas object, canvas as an, as an object. I would never put them in the garbage. Uh, I, I, I uh, you know, I work again and again and again and again. And sometimes, especially the larger ones, sometimes I have them around and, and parallel six or eight years. The sculptures, they are all, you know, empty bodies. That's good so, to know. So there is, and maybe for some future projects, I, I want to fill them with some materials you know, with, with water or with sugar or whatever to, to get a, some original heaviness of some of my person, for example. It's also wrong when I say uh, I have a little bit more freedom for, for the paintings or for the two-dimensional stuff, but uh, sometimes the material uh, gives me some borders and, and that's, that's not so bad. That's very useful sometimes. A painting, uh, on a painting you can do everything, so, and sometimes it's lost because of this. So we, uh, we found the letter on the, on the facade, on the, um, on the building. I did uh, the last 10 years a, a couple of um, pieces with a, with a T and the S, like a, a monogram. You could say also a little bit like a, like a, por like a portrait of myself, the shape and the, uh, 
and the design of the of the uh, tyography is for me uh, it's a it's a nice uh, special timeless uh, uh, graphic design I like very much. I guess the material in original is um, the ceramic or something else which is made for outdoor and we did it here with some ink and some uh, other material with an epoxy uh, surface. So we are ready.